Hey Metal Maniacs, this is Ingo Bajonsak of Assassin Germany and you are thrashing it up on Dave Softy's Metal Meltdown on Metal Messiah Radio. Metal Maniacs, here we go. Please help me welcome to Metal Messiah Radio. Hailing from Dusseldorf, Germany, from legendary massacre record Thrashers, Assassin, we are honored to have with us both tonight vocalist Ingo Bayansak and bassist Joachim Kramer. Hey, folks, how are you doing? Hi, hi, how are you doing? How Greetings from Germany, by the way. The, Greetings from New York and uh, welcome to the Metal Meltdown. 
Ingo and Joachim. It's great to have you here. Thank you for taking the time. How are you doing out there tonight? Yeah, I'm doing fine. So Excellent. far, a bit, bit tired, had a long working day, <laughs> and uh, had to tuck in my little boy of four years old in bed before. So it's uh, for me, it's a duty of a hard working man. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Yeah. yeah. I just, well, just, yeah, I just entered the apartment of Ingo and uh, made myself comfortable on, on, the, on the sofa and grabbed myself a good bottle of German beer. So I'm totally fine. Sounds like a good plan to have a nice bottle of German beer. And uh, as I mentioned, it's great to have you here with us now so that we can talk about your brand new assassin offering, Bestia Immundus, released in February on Massacre Records. It's an outstanding offering. It's really a killer thrash offering. And it shows us that the Mighty Assassin are back, as this is the follow-up to the 2016 release, Combat Cathedral, which was the first to release Ingo's vocals and killer vocals they are. Thank you very much. Yes, it is. And uh, we are very, very happy with uh, our new output. Uh, by the way, thanks for having us uh, on your show. It's a pleasure. I'm glad that we got to do this. Uh, we're getting to do this. Uh, it's been uh, one of my goals of the, of the season. If you, would you please inform the listeners on who currently makes up the lineup of Assassin? Okay. Just right now, in the moment, there's uh, still uh, Jürgen Scholli Scholz playing guitar. He's the last founding member of the band. And uh, on the other guitar, we have uh, the almighty Frank Blackfire. Yeah. Who's already uh, well known in the thrash metal scene worldwide. Um, on bass, uh, I have uh, my mate Joachim Kremer. He's just sitting right next to me here and is joining our interview tonight. And uh, on the drums, there's uh, Bjorn Bern Vandava. It's also a nice mate and a very, very, very uh, versatile drummer. Yeah, um, I'm the guy who's in front and uh, doing the screen scrolls and moves. Thank you so much for uh, informing the, the listeners out there on who currently makes up Assassin. And how is Massacre working out for you and the band? How long have you been on Massacre Records? I would say uh, up till now, it's, uh, it's very good with that. We had some issues uh, producing the new record uh, uh, before. Uh, right? uh, it, it shows up that uh, Massacre were very patient and very understanding with us, uh, for we had that time schedule issues and, and problems with the recording and producing of the album to get it right in time. Um, uh, to be honest, uh, the original release already was focused on end of 2019. Uh, but we didn't manage uh, to to end the, the record the way we wanted it to, and uh, Massacre gave us that uh, extra amount of time to yeah let's let's say to bring it to to a proper end, and uh, yeah, probably you could say it's a it's it's a, it's the thing uh, about better late than never. Yeah, exactly, Especially exactly. Like yeah, it's a good thing that uh, Massacre allowed you the time to get the album out the way you wanted it to get out rather than rush it and not be happy with your product. So that being said, let's learn all we can about the making of Bestia Immundus. Uh, like, for instance, how did all the songs come together? The lyrical themes, who was responsible for the writing of the words and the music? Okay. First, I would like Joachim uh, to tell you uh, about the musical development of the record. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. So, okay, Bessia uh, Mundis uh, has 10 tracks, and uh, six of the tracks were written by Sholly, so, uh, by, um, and uh, four tracks were written by me, actually. And, uh, um, yeah, it was... It's like mm, I think it's it's it, um, it's like with every band, you know, you, you're coming up with an idea to the band. The band is uh, uh, saying, yeah, it's okay, or it says, no, it's not okay, and you have to change this thing or that thing, and then then it's a, a creative develop, developing process. After the the whole band is satisfied with the final solution, so to say, then we start the pre-production. That's it, actually. In in my case, it was pretty new experience for me. Oh, but, it's, um, because I, I was playing not only the bass on the on the record, but the, by, I was playing some 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 rhythm and lead guitars as well. Oh. Uh, I got more influence on the songwriting in, uh, on this album than than I had on the last one. So it was it was pretty new for me. You make it sound uh, easier than it actually is, because I guess yeah, you, no, no. 
Yeah, you're right. It's not easy, you know. I think I think you can imagine, you know, when yeah. in a during a songwriting process, yeah, sometimes we came to a point that we wanted to kill each other, yeah. you know, but uh, in a creative way, you could say. And uh, of course, yeah. And Joachim is also a very, very, uh, a very good guitar player. So uh, after uh, we we already uh, had to deal with the fact that uh, uh, Frank uh, was busy uh, writing the new uh, Zoro material. Um, we were trying to 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 work out how to get get along with the new record. You know, yeah. uh, before we we had we had the the plan and the hope that Frank would also add some some more of songwriting into the to the record, but there was no no time schedule to do so. We we got we, we got ourselves together and said, okay, come on, uh, let's do it by ourselves. And uh, yeah, I guess we 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 did, we did quite well. Absolutely. And uh, what about the lyrical themes, the, the words? Who really comes up with the words? Do you have uh, the same kind of a system where the band collectively gets it all together? Or uh, do you have one member of the band that's really good with words and, and puts it together with the music? How does that work for you? In, in our case, it's, that, uh, it's the case that uh, I'm the one who's bringing up the words together. And uh, that doesn't mean that the other guys in the band doesn't have no say uh, if there are any other creative ideas they are welcome and I, I'm open to it and uh, of course also uh, worked with their ideas but uh, mainly it's, it's, it's my focus on, on the road. Excellent. Um, Excellent. Yeah. So you have, you, that's good you have the teamwork but you're really in charge of that because you are good at it good at it so you're doing that that's good that's, to know. That's how we, we work about that. The uh, lyrical themes they came together uh, differently sometimes I had a vision in, in, in which direction I wanted to go with a specific topic. Uh, well, for, for, for example, uh, the song The War, uh, for sure, there was a, a, quite a, a, an idea and a direction I wanted to go. Uh, also on chemtrails, for example, or Not Like You. They are very, very clear about that. Uh, but on other songs uh, as well, I got inspired by the vibe. By the vibe of the music, you know, the song, you know, I got a flow to, to, to what came to my mind. And uh, for example, such a fun lyrics like to shark attack or uh, deeper things like war song. Uh, so so it's, it's, it's a mixture, you know. Yeah, congratulations. Naturally, Assassin is a thrash metal band and, and therefore needs a lyrical content that uh, matches with the brutality and aggression of the music, you know, what, uh, what the music represents. Oh, yeah, I agree. That's what we try to focus on. I agree. You did a fine job on this. Uh, and another congratulations for that. Now, let's learn about what studio uh, this was recorded in. What studio was uh, Bestia and Mundus recorded in? And who was responsible for the mixing, the mastering, and the producing of Bestia and Mundus? Yeah. Um, the, uh, the producer or the producer was the same one as uh, with uh, Combat, uh, that we made the Combat Cathedral album with. Uh, because we were pretty satisfied with the, with the sound of the last album, so we decided to take, uh, to, to choose for the, for, the same, for the same producer. His name is Mark Gertz, and he's the mastermind guitar player and, and also the producer and songwriter of, of you can't, can't call that, huh? Metalcore band. Oh, metalcore band, yeah, metalcore. That was metal the name core, of metalcore, yeah, okay. Yeah, there's so many yeah, different genres like, out there. He's the mastermind of the metalcore band, um, uh, Caliban, Caliban from, from, from Germany. The same, the same city I actually live in, and we are friends for a couple of years, and uh, for the last album we decided to, to choose for this producer, for, for Mark, because he did a good, a good job, he did a good sound, and um, so we we choosing for the same one. First, we were choosing for Mark uh, once once more, and uh, it was the uh, the best year. Moonis album itself was recorded at the Nemesis Studios in Essen, uh, the studios of Mark Gert. So uh, uh, actually, where where he lives and where he works, and uh, uh, the mastering the mastering was made. We we uh, uh, we gave it to somebody outside. We gave it to some guy from Hamburg. Uh, his name is uh, uh, Almond Viper, and uh, he has a mastering studio in Hamburg. And he did a very was actually was the same the same mastering guy from from that that did the job for uh, Combat Cathedral already. And uh, he has a, he has a mastering studio in in uh, in Hamburg, and this, the studio is called Herzberg Studios. That's great. It sounds like you have a great, a great team in space in in place to do this. That's great. 
yeah, yeah, it was a very good team, and because it worked so well, and you and you know, and you know the uh, you know the route, uh, never change a running system, you know. And so, right, they say uh, if it's not broken, don't fix it. Well, yeah, if you, yeah, you name it, huh? <laughs> and because it went pretty well the last time, so we were choosing for the same guys this time again. Uh, that, that was the idea to the approach that we wanted to mix between an uh, organic sound to, to an old school thrash metal sound, but on the other hand, don't, don't, didn't want to be outdated because the 80s are over, you know. So uh, for us, it doesn't make any sense to, to sound like uh, in the mid of the 80s if you have the, the opportunity and the possibilities to, to do better. You know? And uh, nowadays, sound qualities and, and possibilities are quite much, much more more developed and the new modern uh, metallic sound, which, which pound. I hear you. And, it, it, uh, sounds like, it sounds to me like you're uh, trying to make it sound original, not just, uh, like you said, not sound like the 80s, but you wanted to make yeah. it your sound by incorporating the what was known as thrash into what thrash is today. And I think you've accomplished that. You've done a great job with that. Thank you Thank very you much. much. Thank you. Yeah, to keep a long story short, it's, uh, we wanted to set uh, an 80 thrash metal band into the, into, into the 21st century, you know. Well said. And uh, the other thing I'm loving about this album is, is the artwork. It really stands out. It's very dark. So I'd like to know who designed the CD artwork for Bistia Mundus. And uh, I love the cover so much. It's, it's got a real nice hint of darkness to it so i'd like to know who created this iconic imagery and the assassin logo is also outstanding and if you could tell us who actually designed the band's logo we would love to hear it okay um yeah the, let's say the, the concept idea from the cover uh, artwork uh, was was uh, from from me and Charlie. And uh, the artwork was uh, drawn by Dirk Freda. Was uh, later on uh, to to the to the final product was layout. Chris Kremer, actually the wife of Joachim, yeah, uh, did the layout for for uh, the final outcome of the uh, of the album uh, artwork. And uh, also she did a very very good and great job. Excellent. Um, at first. We tried to get a permission to use an original comic cover uh, artwork of the DC serial Swamp Thing, uh, but we didn't succeed. You know, I tried to contact uh, DC and I also did, but uh, they denied. So uh, therefore, we tried to, to create our own beast, our own bestia, uh, which uh, should combine the album title with the dark and aggressive vibe of the whole record. And uh, uh, some local aspects, such as uh, the song Swamp Thing itself as well. And uh, t to be honest, me personally wasn't fun of the cover at first, you know. Uh, but I have to admit, uh, now with the final outcome, it really fits and matches perfectly to the sound on it. Uh, so it can be said, Mr. Freda and also uh, Chris, they both did a great job there. Yeah, yeah, that's 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 uh, that's some, some kind of funny because. In the beginning, the whole band wasn't very satisfied about the about the, the first ideas of Derek, who was doing the cover, you know. And we said, well, is that the right way? Is that the right decision More to take? Too, too yeah, I yeah. love to cliche. Yeah, so on and so on, you know. But in the end, when when yeah, okay, when the, when we started the work and started the layout and, and so on, and and all the things come into circumstances and so on, uh, we we were more and more satisfied, so to say, and. Uh, in the end, in the end, uh, uh, yeah, we, we, we can live with that, you know. Yeah, it's really cool. It's Absolutely, really cool Absolutely, it's outstanding. I, I love that uh, you all really also like it. So, oh, absolutely, I love it. It's great stuff. And uh, who, who, okay, who designed the uh, the assassin logo? That I love that too, especially on your banner, your banner for this interview with the CD art and the. Uh, logo of assassin it really makes a great looking banner i have to say so lc did a great job but assassin did a great job too otherwise it wouldn't have been possible thanks again um yeah the, the, the band logo uh, generally was was created by uh, uh michelle hoffman it's a former member of uh, of assassin um also in the 80s and then uh, lately uh he was uh, also on the comic cathedral album uh, before he uh, uh, split the band but the, the latest actual version you you already mean uh, was, was designed and, and drawn by Plamen, 
which is a Czech artist. Um, uh, I think he's coming from Bulgaria. Well, Bulgaria. Bulgaria. I don't know. I think he's coming from Bulgaria. But it's, it's, it's a cool artist who already also did uh, some artworks and, and, and stuff for Assassin before. Yeah. And uh, yeah, he uh, he created the 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 actual logo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was one. He was the one who invented the the outlook, the logo itself, uh, the way it is now, and uh, that you can find on on uh, on. On Bestia Immunis, and that you can find on on Combat Cathedral as well. Um, yeah, he made he made actually he made the cover artwork of, of, uh, of Breaking the Silence. He was the one who did the cover of, of Breaking the Silence. And in plus, he gave us uh, uh, an incessant logo by saying, "Oh, I invented something. I uh, uh, I made up my I made up my mind about the incessant logo. What are you thinking about it?" And we said. Oh, Totally cool. It doesn't fit to the Break of the Silence album now, but maybe we can use it later. And so we did. Hey, hey it worked out well. It looks really sharp on BC Mundus, I have to say. It's really, really good. So thank you for that information. And uh, one of the most important things about these interviews, being that we're all in the underground in the world of uh, 2020 with all that's going on, uh, coronavirus and all the crap that's going on in the world these days. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What? what, what John, no. <laughs> no, stop. Uh, oh my God. Uh, so we'll get to talk about talking about touring later on. I know I I've heard a lot of festivals being canceled because of this. But uh, one of the most important things about these interviews is how to inform the fans how they could get merch to support the band. So where would you say would be the best place for a fan of Assassin to get a copy of Bestia of Mundus? I'm going to give some uh, links out there. So. Uh, I want to see if I'm accurate with that as well. I would like to know what other merch Assassin may have out there for the fans. And uh, like I said, we want to know where they can find it. I'm going to give three links, I think, that will really work out for a fan of Assassin to get merch. The first would be your Bandcamp, of course, assassinband.bandcamp.com. And then one would be, I think, maybe the best site would be your homepage, assassin-band.de forward slash assassin yeah. forward slash merch and then i guess of course give your facebook page facebook.com forward slash assassin official would you say one of those links would be the best place for a fan to get assassin merch or do you have another place you would recommend Easy, yeah the easiest way to make contact with us if you want to get the merch is uh, to have sex with our drummer yeah no no i'm kidding <laughs> <laughs> that's funny yeah that's good and uh, no, no, so you, unsafe for sex. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, sorry. Um, um, just, just drop me, drop, drop us a line in on on Facebook and, and get in contact with us if you want to have something. We are willing and able to give you something, whatever you like, you yeah. know. And then we can make contact easily. That's but also the the, uh, the links and the addresses you already mentioned uh, are still actual, so uh, every fan should should be able to reach out to us uh, uh, about it, and uh, yeah, then we'll, we'll get merch. Therefore, uh, of course, other other possibility is uh, is as well uh, at our live shows. We're gonna play live. Of course, of course. Actually, we have uh, CD, vinyls, we have shirts, we have I don't know. We still have some patches. Yeah, right? we do. We do. Yeah, yeah. So some patches, and uh, I'm I'm not quite sure if we still got one, but we we also can offer a cardboard game because uh, there was a po Polish uh, uh, yeah, yeah. company who uh, did us a favor. Uh, created a, a cardboard dice game, you know, rolling dice, it's, it's called, and uh, made a special limited uh, assassin edition in which we are on the cover and uh, you can compete with us. The uh, idea of the game is that you start as a young thrash metal band in the business and uh, we are some, some such kind of, an, of, of, of uh, the, the end game, you know. That was that was really nice when when the, the guys from from uh, the, the Rolling Dices company came to us with that idea and uh, yeah it's a, it's it's a it's a nice thing to have yourself uh, on a cardboard dice game you know so wow, wow. this should available be, be available at at uh, our merch, merchandise wow, yeah that sounds like a lot, a lot of fun very original and I'm surprised if you you have any any more of that I would think that it would sell out pretty fast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why I said I'm not quite sure, but I think yeah, right. a couple. Of shows there, so yeah, yeah. It's, uh, most Try of, your luck. Yeah, most of them are <clears throat> most of them are sold already, but but there 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 are a couple of there are a couple of games left over. I don't know how many, but yeah, be the first and you get it. First come, first serve. Snooze, you lose. Yeah, right? yeah. 
All I'll right. Name it. Well, I thank you for that information. Would you please give us some highlights of your past performances? And uh, would you like to talk about uh, about a tour, if you have any tours lined up with uh, BCM? As we mentioned about the coronavirus, I noticed that the, the world has changed uh, as far as sporting events here in the States. Sporting events, yep. Disneyland, uh, yep, yep. concerts here too. I know uh, we have DJ Vampire. He's a big fan of like walking and he was going to go to Norway, but they canceled these events. So... That is a very serious question I have. Uh, has this coronavirus fucked up your touring plans? Uh, no, it didn't fuck up uh, our touring plans uh, so far because we hadn't have so or uh, didn't have had so much uh, touring plans up till now. Uh, but uh, to, to to bring it back, um, the coronavirus it's, it's it's totally crazy what's going on around here just right now. Um, it, it's about every every second every minute comes another another news uh, in the media and on the on the news on TV. And uh, as you as you mentioned, uh, nearly any. Any concerts and any tours are cancelled. You know, even it started with the big, with the big bands, uh, with the big tours, just like Creator and Lamb of God was planned. They're cancelled, but also the small venues and all the small stuff is cancelled just by now. Um, for example, I have a, I have a show on the Endside Festival in Essen next week with Bonded. Uh, I, I, I still don't know if, if, if it will happen. You know, because uh, uh, it, it seems because of these uh, health issues. Um, they, they're closing down everything. Everything is, is postponed or is cancelled. So it's it's quite difficult just right now in the in the moment, especially for for people who are depending, you know, to to earn their their their, their life loan, their money, uh, with with making music or producing or making uh, sound engineering or doing light stuff, you know, or being even in in the crew. It, it, it's pretty hard for these guys, you know. I'm, I'm, uh, in in my case, I have a full time job as an occupational therapist, so I'm out for for the for the for the money aspect, and I'm fine about that. But for for my colleagues, just like Joachim and, and other people in, in in the scene, it's a big problem just right now, and yeah. we don't have no idea which which direction it will take. You know? Yeah, yeah. For yeah. example, as, as you named it already, I'm a professional musician, so I I depend on events and things like that. Exactly. And uh, all the all the shows I had to play with other with other bands are cancelled for the for the for the for the upcoming weeks. So I'm losing I'm losing uh, I'm losing pretty pretty much money for it at the moment. You know. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> so, I, I yeah, but what can you do? What yeah. it also makes it hard, you know, is it's, it's the fact that uh, it, it's hard to plan just right now because nobody knows how long uh, that sh that shit will go on and that it will take till we finally reach uh, uh, a situation or, or a state where uh, it gets you know normal life is going on again yeah nobody knows so that that's very hard as well you know for booking agencies and, and stuff to, to plan and to already organize uh, some gigs or tours because uh, you, you cannot say if you start to, 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 to fix it if it really will happen just right now yeah. But in in case of in case of assassin, it it, uh, it doesn't touch uh, it doesn't touch the, the the shows of assassin yet now until now because we start our tour in May and this is a pretty long time. Yeah. So hopefully we're gonna play that show. Right? Yeah, hopefully we're gonna play the shows. But till now it it, it seems so. So I, let's I hope, hope so. I hope so for you. Yeah, because this is a serious pandemic and uh, people are like in panic mode right now. I, I was at the the warehouse store today and yeah. people were I'm buying like, cases and cases of toilet paper like they're gonna yeah, run yeah, out of yeah. toilet paper I'm like what the <laughs> fuck and you're stocking up on everything you could like the world's coming to an end like uh, planet of the apes yeah. watch out oh my god really crazy oh, we'll, we'll, we'll uh, be on, on on the on the fucking bunk you know when when the really ad comes uh, the world comes to that I mean, who who needs that much toilet paper? I can just can't get it. I know, right? It's it's crazy. But you also asked and mentioned uh, uh, for highlights, and uh, yeah, uh, for me personally, I would like to say for sure for me the highlight uh, with Assassin so far was the uh, the support of Anthrax sold out show in uh, Santiago de Chile in uh, 2017. There were 4,500 people totally freaking out. Uh, they were so cool doing so good from the beginning to the end of the show and then everyone and I mean really literally everyone seemed to know all lyrics and, and even of the new uh, or latest stuff to come with cathedral material then uh, that was absolutely awesome 
Thank you for sharing that, that with us. Uh, Assassin with Anthrax, that's outstanding. I, I had no idea. That's yeah. great. That's great. It was really, really, really pretty cool. I'm sure. It, we had a nice party out with him after yeah. the show. A very nice story that I always remember is when we were playing our first South America tour in Bra and we started our shows in Brazil. Before the show, we went to the, to the venue already just to meet and greet with the people. And uh, um, I, had a, I had a chat with some guy uh, uh, and I was asking, oh, where are you coming from? You're coming from that city we're playing tonight? And he said, it was Maceo, uh, by the way, this name of the city. And, um, and he said, no, 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 I'm coming up from the city here. I'm, I'm, I travel to the show here. I said, where are you coming from? Oh, you don't know, this. It's, it's a small city, 700 kilometers. So, so it must be about 500 miles. Uh, 500 miles far from here. And I said, you, you ride in such a long fucking distance to see the show? Are you crazy, man? <laughs> and he said, no, my friend, I'm not. This is the first time that this band, that your band is touring in South America. And I don't know whenever, oh, whenever you're coming back to South America and in, if I even got a chance to see you ever again. So this is the day that I want to see you and I have to take the chance. And I said, man, I appreciate a lot what you're doing. Really, this is really cool. Yeah, that was really cool. And he was standing, the whole show, we were standing in the, in the front lines, just in front of the stage and uh, watching the show. And, uh, and uh, our, our singer Robert, the the, uh, the former uh, the singer before Ingo, he was he was really he was really uh, smart and, and taking the guy up on stage and saying to the for the for the last song he said, "Hey, come along, come on stage and then sing along with us, sing along the last song," and he was doing and we got we we were, we were playing the song end of the song curtain fall and he started to cry like a little child man he was so wow. he was. Uh, so happy this was my best day in my life and well, it was it was really cool really 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 cool people really that, that was that's uh, really nice awesome. talk about the dedication talk about dedication that's outstanding yeah Good. yeah that's it okay great so thank um, you thank you to, to, to uh, finally and uh, about the, the the question to the, to the tour plans um, as we mentioned before it, it's hard to say uh, because of the situation with the coronavirus Totally and, understandable. Uh, yeah. Further more tour plans. It's also a little hard because we nearly all have other regular jobs, you know, and uh, uh, also family issues. Uh, plus, there's just right now the situation that uh, Frank is already busy with Zodom and uh, I'm now in Bonded as well. So that makes it kind of difficult from, uh, to go on and extending touring, you know. Exactly. Uh, but hopefully we're going to play some shows and, and uh, hopefully we also get invited to the USA someday so oh, we, would love, we would love that but just keep in touch with me like when you do have any shows you know about hit me up on Facebook yeah, yeah. and I'll help spread the word you know that's what we do so keep in touch with us we'll do what we can just help support that Thanks for this, man. Yeah, thank you, man. Oh, of course, that's what we do. Now, let's talk about videos. I was on uh, Massacre Records uh, on YouTube, and I know that there's a couple of lyric videos out there by Assassin. One is the Swamp Thing lyric video, and one is No More Lies lyric video. Could uh, we share some uh, detail behind these videos? If you could please inform us on the making of these videos. And uh, beyond that, does Assassin plan on, on making any additional official music or lyric videos in addition to these videos? Actually, in case of the videos, that was an idea. First of all, it was an idea of Massacre, um, so our new record company. Nice. And they wanted to have two songs that we that we skipped from the album and uh, uh, and put it online to make it some in, in some kind of an appetizer for the people to 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 hear, to hear the first songs of the new album. And I wanted to make some 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 lyric videos of, uh, with these two songs. So it was actually it was a, the idea of the record company. They, they did and a so, great job by you. Excellent. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, yeah. I think so too. I was I was very pleased about the idea because it didn't came to my mind, and I I didn't know that we had some mon money left over that uh, to to spend for a, for a video or something like that. But but Anya from from Massacre, they uh, she she said, "Hey man, uh, what's up with the video? What are you thinking about it?" And uh, the pain is no problem. And last not least, she was saying, "Hey, I got some. I have some. I have some guys doing doing lyric videos. We were we were working with him for 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 many years together, and he's he's very good. So so make contact with him, and we, uh, I think we can make something out of it." 
I made contact to, to some guy, never heard before, Ingo Sperl is now the name, from, from the south of Germany. And uh, he, has, he has some companies called Heart Media. And I was making content and saying, hey, Ingo, I'm, 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 uh, I'm Joachim from Sassen and uh, coming from Osaka and uh, got a new contact via Anya. What are you thinking about making a lyric video? And it was, uh, Masaka, they, the record company wanted to have the videos in, in two or three weeks already, you know, it has to, it has to go pretty fast. So fast. Yeah. But, yeah. Before we had some kind of time yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. producing the last record. The time was running and yeah. it wore off. And, uh, but Ingo was, was really cool. He was really cool and said, hey, no problem, man. Uh, just give me some material, some, some, uh, um, whatever you have, some photos, some videos that you, re when you, uh, that you have from, from, from live sessions or from, from concerts that, uh, that, that you recorded or so, whatever, you know, give it to me. I'm making something out of it. So I said, okay, Ingo, no problem. I will give you. And, uh, sending him, sending him some material. Took a couple of days, and, and he was really saying, I, "Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm made, I was making something. Take a look at it if you're satisfied." And I was taking a look. I said, "Hey, Ingo, you're a miracle, man. Yeah, let's thank you, my man. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> really cool. wow. <laughs> that's amazing. You know, Massacre did a really great job for you. And as you said, uh, you said give the people an appetizer. You said that very well. I mean, you worded that perfectly because you did give them an appetizer. You made them hungry for more assassin." So they'll buy the album. So that's perfectly the way you said it. That works well, very well. Cool. Yeah, yeah. So that was that was the, the story about the video. You Mission know? accomplished. Yeah. yeah. And um, we we were working together with a manager at the moment. He was joining the band last year. By saying well, we had some we had some experience already with this guy from another band, you know, and he he made a, he made a pretty good job, you know, by developing the band and uh, and uh, uh, getting bigger concerts and getting a tour, making some DVD and so on. And he was taking care of of Assassin as well. And he said, okay, when uh, you got the release of the new album, you got to lyric videos. When all the all the first hype is done. Let's let's think about making a a good video of one song that will that will, that will make some recordings with the band and put it into into some real video. Well, maybe this, with a short storyline and stuff. Yeah, yeah, of course, and, with yeah. a with a with a with a small plot or whatever, you know. Uh, let's see what we can do, what we can make out of it, and uh, and doing in some yeah some scenery here, some somewhere in the, somewhere in the Ruhrgebiet or somewhere close to Düsseldorf. And that's the that's the idea for the for for next for next video for the upcoming project. Actually. That's a great plan. And when you have the new video, let me know about it so I can start sharing that as well. For more, sure, we do. Yeah, we'd be more than happy sure to do that. So that's great news to have that coming up as well. I'm loving the lyric videos, by the way. Just have to say that to you. And would you like to talk about what you do when you're not doing the band? Uh, I know you have like regular jobs. Uh, Yakim, I think that you're a full-time musician. Uh, if you'd like to talk about what you're doing outside of the band, or even if you'd like to talk about any other bands that you're associated with, we'd, we'd love to hear that if you'd like to talk about that. If not, whatever you'd like to mention, we'd love to hear it. Of course. Yeah. You, you want to start? Yeah, I will start. Okay. When I'm not uh, doing assassin uh, in my normal life, <laughs> in daylight... I'm an occupational therapist, and uh, I work with uh, mental uh, disabled people, and uh, that's that's my full-time job, uh, actually. And I'm, I'm also a father of a four-year-old boy. Uh, that's even more of a full-time job, I can tell. Oh yeah. And yeah, lately started to uh, to to sing uh, uh, with the band Bondes as well. I just want to mention real quick, because you mentioned Bond, that i got to say, the Rest and Violence offering is another kick-ass offering featuring your vocals and a, a, a new band with members of uh, former members of Sodom. Really good stuff here, so I, I thank you for even mentioning that. Uh, and down the road, hopefully, we can have a, a separate interview for that. But uh, congratulations on uh, yeah. having two killer offerings this year. Amazing. Amazing. And Thank you very much. It was it was a hard deal, you know, uh, because uh, like I said before, we had some time issues, schedule issues with with Assassin, but it was also kind of uh, for me it was kind of a hard producing 
uh, two albums uh, in, in quite a, a short uh, time period, you know, uh, on one hand. But on the other hand, it was also kind of a challenge and uh, it was a big fun because I, I, I really uh, love and like the guys uh, I'm playing with in both bands. And so therefore, uh, I try to, to, to give it a test if I can manage. And uh, yeah, thanks for the compliment. Uh, it probably uh, did quite well. I'm glad it work, is working out for you. Congratulations on that again. And Yakim, would you like to talk about what uh, what you do beyond Assassin? I know you're maybe involved in other bands. Would you like to mention what else you are doing besides Assassin? Yeah, of course I will. I'm a musician, so this is my job. I'm a professional musician since almost 30 years now. And I started my career by, by studying music, actually. And I was playing. Uh, I was I was studying jazz guitar. In, in the Netherlands, so I went out of Germany and lived for a couple of years. I lived in Rotterdam in the Netherlands and studied jazz guitar. Coming back to Germany after five years, I was coming back to Germany and started my job by, by, by playing musicals and TV shows and uh, all kinds of stuff. And um, after, after a couple of years, by, by doing m many different things, I got the offer, I got the offer to to play an audition, audition for Assassin. And uh, it was something, yeah, something different. At least back in these days, it was something very different to me. So I was curious about it. And I, 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 I liked the idea by, by, by joining a metal band. And I, uh, I was, Charlie was giving me a call, actually, and saying, hey, man, I got your phone number. You're interested in by playing an audition. Uh, 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 with Assassin, and I uh, said, yeah, of course I will. Uh, thanks a lot for for the offer. And what, how can I how can I prepare the rehearsal or the audition? Yeah, I said, okay, check out this and that song. So I did, and I really wanted to have that job, you know. And I was was preparing very much for that for that rehearsal. And yeah, the rest is history. I was I was doing the audition, and I got the job, you know. <laughs> and that was that was very cool. And uh, first of all. When I joined the band, they, they, they got an offer for a tour in, in, in China and in Japan already. They got an offer from, from SPV Records for a record deal and making a new album. So it was best circumstances to join a band, you know. Um, yeah, that's, that's, that's it for, in, yeah, that's it in, in general. So that's a great, that's but, a great but, story. Yeah, thank you for sharing that. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it happened a lot. It happened, it happened a lot the last, the last years, you know. And, uh, but, but, um, so, we are um, also in contact with the other with the other German thrash bands like like Crea Creator like Creator Miller, Miller is a Miller is a, we we're living in the same in the same city and we're we're just we're just neighbors you know we're talking about we're talking about re vegan recipes when we meet you know nice uh, um, nice yeah yeah and uh, I wasn't I was on tour for as, as a, because we, uh, because they needed. Uh, um, I was on tour with with, with Sodom as a, as a guitar technician for several tours in in, in Russia and in several countries in Europe. So we are we're friends anyway. Yeah, and the, That's the, cool. it's also that the, the Ruppert the scene is, is uh, yeah. quite connected, you know. Everybody yeah. knows every everyone else and uh, sometimes they support us, sometimes they compete, you know, but uh, at least it's it's a it's a big thing all together as we are all connected uh, about metal. Yeah. Right. And uh, you have to keep in mind all the guys they knew they, they know each other each other since the eighties. Yeah. Since they since started the all that shit, you know. Yeah. yeah. Just I, like it says. Yeah. Right, right. I think it's safe to say that you won't be doing any touring of China anytime in the near future. Because of uh, because of the coronavirus. Because, yeah. yeah, I don't think you'd ever want to go. Yeah, yeah, I just want to say because of the actual circumstances I think uh, uh it's not a good, a good idea. Oh, to, yeah, yeah. No, no exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. yeah. So it's glad that, I'm glad that you went there at one time when it was safe to, but I wouldn't take a chance on it anymore. But that's for sure. Wow, it's pretty sad. Uh, pretty sad. Um, yeah, it's very. Sad. Hopefully, we'll we'll get well, uh, we'll get better soon. Yeah, let's yeah. hope. Let's hope. Yeah, I'm sure they're going to find a cure. The the uh, medical profession, the chemists, and all that. If they don't have one yeah. already, but uh, it's uh, just a messed up situation, and uh, it is, you know, seems like a zombie apocalypse. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it seems like a bad yeah. movie, like a bad movie, like Planet of the Apes, where uh, the apes yeah. take over and all the humans start dying off. It's like, what the hell? Yeah, yeah. 
when you can't get rid of the suspicion that, uh, as you said, you know, ho hopefully the, the, the scientists and and and, and profs will, will find uh, a cure. Uh, you, you can get rid of the suspicion they probably also developed uh, the, the the sickness, uh, the disease, or but whatever. That's that's uh, kind of paranoid uh, theory. We are not going to follow. Them all. <laughs> yeah, it'd probably be a good idea not to eat sushi also if you eat sushi. <laughs> you know? All right. But uh, that being said, uh, is there anything that you gentlemen would like to say to your loyal fans tuning in tonight? Anything that you'd like to mention to them? Yeah, of course. Uh, first of all, thank, thanks how a lot and thank very much for supporting and listening uh, to Assassin. Um, please check out Bestia Mundus. Uh, if you didn't so far, and uh, yeah, keep on supporting uh, the metal scene and uh, assassin uh, worldwide. So get your pull, and uh, from my side on, keep on worshiping Pantera. <laughs> Pantera, <laughs> right? All right. So, uh, okay. uh, 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 Joaquin, anything did you like to say? Yeah, of course. I want to thank all the fans that, and all the listeners, and uh, we uh, we're not we're nothing without you. And just keep one thing in mind. And now I want to, I want to say some words of a of a of an American musician that I really, really love and appreciate. So please listen. Information is not knowledge. Knowledge is not wisdom. Wisdom is not truth. Truth is not beauty. Beauty is not love. Love is not music. And music is the best. And these words are not coming from me, of course. They're coming from Frank Zappa. Very nice. What Thank you great, very much. What a great Google the Moogle. <laughs> what a great Google the Moogle, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea. That's Those are great words, though. Thank you for sharing that. And, uh, Joaquin, thank you for joining us uh, with Ingo on today's interview. I really enjoyed well, talking to both of you. I think uh, it was great getting with both of you. It would have been great, I guess, with Ingo alone. But uh, I think that you really have brought more to the interview, so it made an even better interview. And I thank you for our conversation. Thank you for our interview and the chance to get to know you better. Uh, before we go crank up more Assassin, I want to know that we got everything covered, that we brought all the fans up to speed. That being said, is there anything else that we can mention that you want to get out there to the fans that we have yet to discuss? Uh, as far as I don't know, no. I, I, don't, I guess I don't know, no. Uh, probably just uh, take care. Yeah? Be safe. Be uh, safe. Try to stay healthy, take care of what's going on just right now with that uh, viral stuff. And, uh, yeah, hopefully we, we come out uh, all well and uh, and, and uh, safe and uh, are able to, to, to go on uh, on a metal way uh, uh, further on. Of course. No worries, Dave. We're going to meet after the zombie apocalypse anyway. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Also, thank you very much uh, to, to giving us the opportunity to reach uh, our fans even over, overseas uh, in America and uh, worldwide. And uh, yeah, thanks for having us. Yeah, thank my, you very much, Dave. My pleasure. I love I'm, it. I'm, I'm, my, my pleasure. I'm glad this worked out that we could do this. <laughs> thank you for a great interview, guys. I really have enjoyed this. And I want to wish uh, uh, both of you. Ingo and Yakim and the rest of uh, Assassin. I want to wish you guys the best of health, the best of happiness, the best of success with what you're doing out there. Uh, be safe and uh, anything that you got going on, like I said, anything that's news for you that you want to help spread the word on, please hit me up so I can help spread the word. And uh, let's hope that your future plans, even though they're not set in stone yet, as far as touring, Let's hope if you get involved with any festivals or any shows that they don't get canceled because of this crazy virus that's going around. But uh, that being said, I, I wish you all the best of success. And I'm looking forward to the future possibilities of having you back on the show for your future offerings. So keep doing what you do and we'll be back here to talk about it. Okay, guys? Yeah, we will. Thank you very much, man. Yeah, thanks, Dave. Uh, take care and say hello to everybody in the USA. I sure will. You just did. <laughs> and uh, let's go crank up some more Assassin right now and crank it up really loud. <laughs> 